Hello my darlings, I'm Twiste, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a movie that proves that there can be a good horror movie sequel. I'm going to talk to you about The Evil Dead 2. The Evil Dead 2 is about the lone survivor, Ash Williams, as he is trying to outwit and survive against the Necronomicon demons. When this happens, hilarity ensues. This movie is a lot better than the first one because it's a lot funnier. It's got a lot more memorable scenes. Just to see Ash just in the room and just getting teased the fuck by these demons. It's amazing. It's awesome. Don't worry, it's not all about Ash. It's not a one-man show. There are a few other people that come in as well. One of them happens to be the daughter of the man who found the Necronomicon and she has brought more pages of the book so maybe that'll be able to help save the day. This also debuts the way that we all know and love Ash Williams with his awesome chainsaw hand and his shotgun right in his hand. And of course when he says the words, groovy. Alright my darlings, it's time for me to tell you what it has and what it has not. And I will let you know if The Evil Dead 2 is worth watching or if you should just stop staring at that deer head. It's not laughing, it's just your imagination. I mean it. There are two horror cliches. One cliche is that the whole setting is in a cabin in the middle of the woods, but then again, that's what this whole franchise is all about. There are eight eerie moments. One of the eerie moments has to do when Ash is in the house after he just seen his girlfriend die and he's looking at himself in the reflection. Suddenly, the reflection Ash comes out to him and he tells him, oh, you're going crazy. We just killed our girlfriend. Yeah, we're really psycho. And he also does it with like the really over the top acting phase. Total amount of true suspenseful moments. There are six true suspenseful moments. This one suspenseful moment really caught me by surprise and it just made my heart race. Ash goes into the shed to try to find some more weapons. He puts his girlfriend's head Linda on the table and right as he is just talking to her and she's trying to convince him that, you know what, she's okay even though she's a freaking head, her body comes in with the chainsaw and just starts to like attack him and it's funny because of the outdated special effects, but at the same time, it's still pretty freaking scary because who would have thought that the, her body would still be able to react and be able to work, move on its own, especially with the heads detached so far away. Total amount of jump scares. There's five jump scares. One really stupid jump scare has to do when Ash is in the house, he is come back and he's trying to figure out if he is okay. He starts to shoot the door like crazy, he doesn't hear anything, and it's all quiet, it's all silent, he's all si on the side, and then suddenly this man tackles him, and it's just really unnecessary, it's really stupid. I'm gonna give The Evil Dead 2 four and a half out of five stars, because you know what, this movie is the perfect combination of horror and comedy. It takes itself seriously, but not too seriously. It has some very memorable moments in the film. This is definitely one of my favorite films of all time. I hold this really deep in my heart and I know that you all love it too. So have any of you guys seen The Evil Dead 2? What did you think about it? What is your favorite film by Sam Raimi, whether he directed or wrote or even produced it? Please write your comments down below and we will have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie you would like for me to review, old or new, or even a foreign movie? Please write them down below, and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time, my loves.